So I have a question here. Hi Lucas, is it possible to teach yoga and travel the world? It's, you're asking the right person because that's actually how I got into yoga teaching. I wanted to see the world, I wanted to travel, but I needed a way to make that happen financially. And I tried teaching English and I was a terrible English teacher, but I was a really good yoga student. So I thought, hey, if I become a yoga teacher, maybe I can travel the world. Maybe it'll work for me. And it did, it worked out. I, I left New York City in 2003 and I went to Bangkok for what was supposed to be six months. And here I am all these years later and, and I've never been back. I, yoga has literally taken me all around the globe and I've never found a single job in the world that offers as much geographic freedom as yoga does. It's very much the nature of the job. So absolutely it can work. So the question is, so how do you find those jobs? Well, in many cases, going to a place where yoga is developing makes it easier. When I went to Bangkok in 2003, there were only about 10 or 15 yoga teachers in the entire city. So it made it very easy to get jobs and get work visa and get the ability to stay in the country and all these kinds of things. Now there are thousands of teachers in Bangkok. It's still doable, but it's a little more complicated. At any given time, there's a different area where yoga is developing. Maybe it's the Middle East, maybe it's South America, maybe it's Central America. Always things are changing and moving, but if you go to an area where yoga is new and developing, you'll find it easier to get work permission, you'll find it easier to get job opportunities, and you'll also find it easier to get really high wages. Now, there are other ways to travel with yoga that are very common. They're often less paid, but very interesting. And these are seasonal jobs. Seasonal jobs you'll find at health resorts, at summer camps, at ski resorts, uh, cruise ships and yachts hire hundreds, if not thousands of yoga teachers every season. You'll find them at destinations that are affected by the weather. So if there's uh, surf towns, climbing towns, all of them have seasonal yoga jobs. And so these tend to be less paid and oftentimes short term or no visa at all, but really interesting ways to travel and see the world. And very often these short term gigs lead to long term gigs or recurring short term gigs. To give you an example, I know a teacher who goes to Greece every summer, every season and has done for four years. I know loads of teachers who spend the season in the Thai islands or in Bali every year again and again at the same resorts. Here in the Mediterranean, I know a number of teachers who spend time in Ibiza or Formentera, again, doing the exact same thing. So it's absolutely doable. So the next question that immediately comes up, people say, okay, so I know there's jobs in the Middle East. I know there's jobs in South America. I know there's seasonal jobs in Ibiza, or I know there's jobs in Bali, but how do I get those jobs? And that's a good question to answer. Like any job, a yoga teaching job is based on your ability, your experience, and your professionalism, right? If I was gonna hire a lawyer today, if somebody came in just because they had a law degree, it doesn't mean I'm gonna hire them. I wanna know their ability, their experience, and their professionalism, and this is where most yoga teachers fall short on all three. First of all, most yoga teachers, even certified yoga teachers, don't know how to teach. They don't have real world experience. They can't sequence a class. They can't structure a class for 60, 75, or 90 minutes. They don't have a workshop structure that's plug and play and ready to go. Because of this, it makes them very difficult to market locally. And if they're trying to market themselves internationally, it's just a disaster. So first and foremost, having good, solid training that gives you real world experience. All of our trainings, for example, actually work and teach in our studios is a really big difference. The next thing is presenting yourself professionally and for international jobs this is absolutely crucial. What I mean by this is let's say you're trying to work in Dubai or you're trying to work in Bali or you're trying to get a job in Singapore or Jakarta or whatever it is. You need to send more than just a resume or a CV. Your resume or CV needs to look great, but you also need to send a video and you need to send photos. And that's why we do that with all of our trainees here at the Yoga Teachers College. We help you to tell your story. We help you to present exactly what it is you have to offer as a teacher. And because of that, every single time you apply for a job, you will go in the A list. If 100 people apply, you will be in the top five being considered simply because you look the part, you act the part, and you have the credentials to back it up. So when they dig deeper into your resume, their CV, they call your references, they call us, it's very clear that you are who you say you are and you're ready to teach 
professionally. The yoga market, people get confused thinking it's really competitive, it's really crowded. It's really not at all. It's really crowded at the bottom level where people are selling certificates at yoga festivals and they don't really know how to teach. But if you're a professional, if you are clear about the service you have to offer, it's not crowded at all and you can find opportunities all over the globe and yoga offers you the opportunity to see the world not as a tourist but as a part of these cultures and for me it's really been life-changing I know for a lot of potential yoga teachers that's a really big draw to the profession as well I hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions specific questions general questions I'm always happy to help just post them down below thanks again and I hope to chat with you very soon